up. Let's start from C. Let's remember horse riders posture. Yes, I love your dress. So pretty. Okay. C major. Wait, wait, wait. If you fell on, on C. Think of holding. Mm -hmm. Just pretend. And that would be the place to start. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Let's prepare some. Take a look. You know, we are going to be with you a little traffic light uh, exercise. You know, what happens when we see a traffic light? What do we do when it's red light? We stop. We put our hands here and wait. Right? Yellow light. We prepare. Ready to go. Let's prepare on G, right hand. Just silently, we are just getting ready. Green light. <gasps> so for green light, we'll take a little breath and go. Red light, next scale. Think what will be the next scale. D major. Okay, let, let's do this. Red light, yellow light. Right. Green light. Nice, so beautiful. sounding like that. It means your weight is not in the keys. Yeah? So, to make a good deep sound, we really need to feel weight in our three points, like your feet, your sit bones, and your fingers. Again. Step. You don't really have to close too much here. Ready?
Now, left hand for these scales will use exactly the same finger. And what finger we are using? And exactly the same sharps. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. The only thing, it kind of goes in other directions. So if we start with one here, we'll start this one. Now, if it's easy, you can go this way, and it will be like mirror projection. Can you try C major, start on one and go one, two, three? with you a little bit. Um, stirrups, stirrups, yes. So look, we'll play three and I'll let you go, you hold your way here, okay? Good. Now we'll play four. Don't push, just hold your way here. Beautiful. Now we'll play five the same way. Yes, see, it's not on this side. And just, just, just look at the fingers. So let's try to play it. And go back. Three, five, four, beautiful. But don't go back here. Just four, 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 reach on. Yes. Excellent job. Beautiful. How's Fantasia going? She loves it. She wants to play with me every day. <laughs> Did you, how far did you go? We just stopped, we didn't have time to go on. But. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you know what we'll do right now? We are gonna learn new parts and then we'll try all together, okay? We have only two little parts left to learn. So this is the first one. We need to learn only four notes and their order and then they just all repeat. We call it a sequence. So we'll start from C, look, we'll make a skip legato. And then left hand from octave lower step up. And then we go to the next note. Skip. G A and so on. Can you try? Prepare left hand. Octave lower. Mm -hmm. C A. left hand four, left hand four. So we go all in a row. One, two, three, da, 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 two, three, four. B, B, da, 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 da. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, da, da. Two, three, four. One, two, Two, three, four, four, four. Good, that's the 
end and it starts over. It starts over, we play it twice, that's it. Let's try this last part and we'll be able to play with daddy the whole thing. Okay? Let's do it. Mm -hmm.
cord to read. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah. Wow. You played that the whole thing. That was great. Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> Wonderful, sweetie. Your practice was very at home, right? Now, the only thing you were kind of... Like, like, that, right? like you had all hammers on your fingers. Let's imagine your fingers are singers. Finger singers. Forty. Yes. Your arms have to have to start doing like this, right? It's only fingertips. Imagine when you press on it, it starts going. Oh, oh. But if you go like this, it goes. Ah, ah. Okay. Singing fingers. Right. Let's play a couple more pieces from solos and we'll go sing to. Oh, it's one piece of set. We will play one piece. Oh, here it is. Here it is. And then we'll go this direction. So we did scaling this one. Let's try scaling. Let's So you want the you want the um, first two lines left hand to be non legato. Yes. Mm -hmm. How about our dialogue? Oh, <laughs> did you do that? That's so cute. All right, stirrups. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes, good. Now conversation.
you try to play this piece? Let's play. Yellow, red, green. Ta-da! Happy birthday! Why is it so sad? Probably heard this word before, have you? Yes. Etudes is just like a study or exercise, but they are almost like pieces. They are just shorter and have similar way through of playing the, uh, through the piece. Let's see if we can challenge you a little bit. This one is really good. It's on double notes. Look, double notes when they play two notes together. You. Wow, your hand is so clear and nice. Okay, let's try with your right hand. So, we just try first. Jump, bounce like a hot bun. And then, hop, 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 and now, here we'll need to skip. So, we'll keep five in. That's it, and now we'll release five. Good job. And then. Similar, the same. A little bit, because our fifth finger is so short, we really want to help it. Round F. Oh, oh, oh. 
is a piece called Little Aria. Have you heard the word Aria before? Aria is the other, the English word for Aria is song. But how can we sing on the piano? What do you think? We can make the sound very nice and pretty, almost like someone's beautiful voice, right? And that's what we need to remember when we play pieces. Uh, that's called song, aria. We really want our fingers to imitate and produce the sounds like a song. to this piece um, what time in the history it reflects is it like nowadays kids singing or maybe it's like old times somewhere in the castle somebody's singing and there's a little ensemble of people playing cellos and violins I think it's a good image to think of the a beautiful uh, singer lady is singing and in the left hand there is maybe a cello and then they go together these notes on cello that would be fun or you could ask mommy to sing it or you can sing it and play left hand that will be very very interesting let's try with your right hand and this piece is written in the key or the scale of f major you already know f major scale right that's why because it's f major it has b flat look major without B flat. Would it sound good? No. So we need to be really careful and wherever we have B. Except here. Except here. Exactly. Because it has a natural sound. Right? Excellent. Let's try this you now. Relax, relax. Oh, beautiful singing sound. you'll play for me left hand and imagine you're playing cello have you ever tried to play your brother's cello never ever you can ask him to let you play a couple notes okay like on open strings and listen to the sound so which finger that's it uh, it sounds like boom make it a cello sound yes and maybe even a little bit deeper good
I love this sound. It's the only thing. Can you read these words for me? Nomogata. What does it mean? Disconnect and breathe. Yes, just like a butterfly, right? But not too far, right? We, because they're so close and there is no rest, yeah, we want to do it close. We just take like that. Yeah. Now, here, there will be more conversation. We can talk, we can call it a dialogue too, just like your other piece. Because they, here we are. too much to read the whole thing so try to do one line at a time or two lines we already did this with this first two lines right but this is kind of the hardest one it's a little different note and we have a long and then two short notes hey your fingers are all stretched out Separately, and only when you feel your fingers are ready, then you'll do hands together. Okay, go ahead. Stick. Nice. It doesn't have to stick, probably it's a different side thing. Mm -hmm. I think here is a stick. Yeah. It's, it's hard to see. And maybe after this smooth and very flowing and graceful and elegant song, we'll play with your children's march. How about that? Listen. <laughs> Lower, sorry. 
did your vocal, it'd be so much fun. So let's go. Go. Again. And then. Back. And that's one. I'll continue. Did you find, find sticky side? Yes, you did. Good. Thanks to do that. When you play it, make sure you notice when you have forte sign. What does usually forte mean? Loud. Yes, the translation is loud, but it also means some feelings. For example, in this march, forte also means very cheerful and exciting. Not just loud, but cheerful, energetic, exciting. And what will it mean here? Maybe those marching children are a little bit farther away. They already marched away, right? And now they're farther, so we can't hear them that well. comes in which is untuned right out of tune and then ah, like a trumpet right the word scales it's also Italian do you know what scales mean yes in Italian scales are stairs it's just like running up and down stairs see how many Italian words you already know so we don't read it far we read it can you say it all right clear Great job! What sticker would you like? Would you like a unicorn or, or who would you like? Would you like dinosaurs? Okay. You want to stick something here today? No, not here. Here. You can go get a toy. You did a great job today. 